After you have set up the correct MLA spacing and font, it's time to move on to the header. Remember, your entire document must be double-spaced. This includes the heading. If you haven't changed your default settings, you can easily press Control plus 2 on your keyboard to double-space your paper. As your cursor flashes at the top left of the first page at the 1-inch margin mark, begin by typing your full name on the first line. Then hit Enter. Below that, you'll enter your instructor's name. Next is the title of the course. Finally, you'll want to enter the date that you are writing the draft. Remember to begin with the day, and then the month, and finally, the year. Some instructors prefer an additional line, though this is not required by MLA, which identifies the assignment and draft number. Directly below your first page heading, you will need to create a centered title. To do so, first, on the Home tab, in the ribbon, you're going to select the Center icon, or simply hit Control plus E on your keyboard to center your text. Then, you're ready to type your working title. The title shouldn't be any different than the rest of your paper. So don't bold, underline, or enlarge the text. Hit Enter once again, uncensor the text using the ribbon, or key Control plus L, and then you, be you can begin your actual essay with your regularly indented paragraphs. Next, you're ready to create a header labeled with your last name and page numbers. To create your header, click on the Insert tab on the ribbon. In the Header and Footer group, click on Page Number. Scroll down to top of page, and finally, select Plain Number 3 which justifies your page numbers to the right, as required by MLA. You'll see that the page number appears immediately in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Now all you need to do is type your last name and hit the spacebar once. Then, double-click on the main body of your paper in order to resume your composition or revision. After creating your header, you must decide if you want to keep your header on the first page. While having your name, teacher's name, and the like is mandatory first page content with MLA, as you learned, that information goes in the body of your paper so that it starts at the one inch margin, not in the actual header. With MLA, the header is reserved for your last name and page number. So the question is, do you want your last name and page number to appear on the first page of your document? MLA leaves this as a stylistic choice for writers. What that means is that you really need to check with your instructor or publisher to see what he or she requires. If you do not want your last name and page number to appear on the first page of your document, first you'll need to create some text or space in order to get to the second page of your document so that you can confirm you want a header only on the second and subsequent pages. Once you're on page 2 of your document, double-click on the header so that the special Design tab appears in the ribbon. Under Options, check the box next to Different First Page. Then, double-click outside of the header and scroll up to page 1 to confirm that you no longer have a header on the first page. And voila, you're ready to continue.